while everyone else in the DVD community is busy making tier lists about how strong or meta the different characters from DVD are, I was busy asking the real questions. Which character in the game has the most prejudice against others? And it's definitely not because I yoinked this idea from another content creator. I don't know what you're talking about. And now that the 15 seconds of family-friendly introductions are gone, I can finally say the word racist. So let's rank all the characters by how racist they are with this tier list I have made. I am sure you're excited to know what tier your main will be. First, let's start with the anti-racist tier. Characters in this tier were people that fought against discrimination while they were still alive or characters that promote cultural diversity. And let's start with the most liberal character in the entire game. Carmina, just like her title in DVD, was an artist that wanted to expose and fight against the system and corruption in Chile while she was still alive. By making art pieces like paintings, street murals or poetry as messages against the corporations and politicians that were corrupt. She was for the people, protected poor families, fought for equality, and it even led to her being captured by the cartel because of how much she was exposing them. It's a no-brainer that Carmina is by far the most just and least racist character in the entire game, since that was her whole life and objective as an artist. In fact, that was the legacy she left before being taken by the entity. I think some people might not be alright with this placement, but I think Spirit is another anti-racist character. Now, despite it being a fact that Japan and Japanese people are very racist, and spoilers, we will be talking about this soon, I think the Spirit was a new hope for future generations. We know that she studied in a university, so we can deduce that she was a smart person, and being educated greatly helps with not being racist. Not only that, she was young and this also helps with her breaking a little bit from tradition, as we could also learn from her tomes as she did not want to practice kendo despite it being a family tradition. Not only that, I also believe that Spirit and Adam would have been an amazing duo as student-teacher had they met each other in real life. So even considering the fact that she is Japanese, I simply cannot say that she is any close to being racist. The Knight is possibly the most surprising placement in the entire video, especially considering the fact that he was a huge piece of dried horse meat and one of the most evil characters in the entire game. However, he's everything but a racist. He started as a Hungarian slave, had his village raided and was brought to Italy as an apprentice. He was trained by Kadir Hakam, who was either an Arab or Turkish, but definitely a Muslim and later on he formed his own group with Alejandro Santiago, a Spaniard, Durkos Malesek from Czechia, and Sander Raud, either a German or a Briton. He is by far the most diverse character in the entire game and he proved that no matter your race, as long as you were loyal to Tarhos, he will respect you. In fact, his respect was so big that he went ahead and saved his loyal minions from continuing their lives as slaves. Yes the knight is a pillager. Yes, the knight is pure evil, but he fought against discrimination, something that a lot of the characters in this list cannot boast. And unfortunately, that is all for the anti-racist tier. Now, let's talk about the most sad tier in this video. Victims of racism. The characters in this tier have suffered from discrimination while they were still alive and we could say that their entire lore is focused on discrimination as well. Let's start with my favorite character in this tier. This might be surprising for some, but Deathslinger's story is a very sad one filled with betrayals and a lot of discrimination. Born as an Irish in America, the Irish were very discriminated back in the 1800s as they were seen as poor, lazy, drunks and without any discipline. Despite the fact that Deathslinger was basically a genius during those times with his groundbreaking inventions, he was still treated as less of a human by the rest, which is why nobody took him seriously and they just ended up taking advantage of his trust and intelligence. Slinger had to work hard in order to found the Hellshire Gang, which was formed entirely by other Irish inmates. Discrimination ruined Deathslinger's chances of being one of the most influential and important people of his century. Wraith is another character that suffered from a lot of discrimination. 
especially back in his country of origin, Nigeria. His family was eliminated by military groups that just wanted to exterminate everyone. He was definitely discriminated against. However, his lore after he came to America does not state that he was discriminated due to his race, so he possibly had it better there, if only he didn't get into some shady business in Outer Haven. Another character that was very discriminated against are the twins, as their entire life they were persecuted due to being accused of being products of a witch. Also, you might think that the twins have the worst pick rate in the entire game due to being boring to play, but the actual reason is because they are French, so they cannot escape discrimination even in the entity's realm. Now, let me tell you the story about Sadako Yamamura, also known as the Onryo. One day, Sadako was performing her entity duties in the trials when suddenly, while chasing a Dwight, she completely stopped in her tracks and went back to hide to her well, completely traumatized. The entity police later captured the Dwight that she was chasing in order to interrogate him, and it turns out that they found the reason for Sadako's distress. See, this Dwight was using a specific cosmetic that featured a bag on his back, and inside this bag there was a Sudoku magazine. They also found inside the bag a pack of Oreo brand cookies. Absolutely disgusting, Dwight. You should be ashamed of yourself. If you have no idea what I just talked about, never go to Twitter. Luckily, this is all the characters in DVD that suffered from discrimination. Now, we're going to tackle the non-racist characters in DVD. Unfortunately, a lot of the characters in DVD are not racist. I hope nobody is surprised. One can say that Hillbilly was discriminated against while he was a child, but I don't consider that as victim of racism specifically. Hillbilly never had the chance to participate in society, and also considering the fact that Hillbilly is actually very intelligent, my final conclusion is that he is not racist. He is above that stupidity. There are rumors of someone who called Hillbilly an N-word, making him a victim of racism, but that's just a legend. The same can be applied to Leatherface. He is not racist. In fact, he doesn't care about the color of your skin. He will skin you equally and make a cool mask out of you and will make sure to not waste any of your meat to cook a very tasty chili. There is no white chili, black chili. It's all the same chili. I honestly want to rate Baba as an anti-racist and an ally. Myers doesn't give a flying fig about the color of your skin. All he has in his mind is if you're an obstacle to him or not, as the only person he truly cares about is Laurie Strode. As far as I am aware, Michael might even be anti-racist, as I can guarantee he has never said the n-word in his whole life despite being a pure evil character, something that a lot of gamers can say about themselves. Myers might be the incarnation of evil, but even evil has standards. The Hag is another character with no chance of being racist. As far as I am aware, she was not discriminated against once, she has no reasons to discriminate against anyone either. In game, she will eat your liver no matter the color of your skin. For her, all humans taste the same. Demogorgon is an alien. So just like the hag or any other character that eats humans, Demo does not care about the color of your skin. Some people should learn from Demogorgon to be fair. Now, in another universe where we got Billy instead of Demogorgon, trust me, this list position would be completely different. Now, let me tell you something quick. If this list was ranking the players of the killers as racist or not, then Pig would be on the top. But since we are rating the characters themselves, then I have to say that the pig is not racist since she has no reason to be one. Again, another character that does not care about anyone's race at all is the Pyramid Head. If we go by Silent Hill lore, he only cares about James Sunderland and nobody else. But if we go by DBD lore, then he just works as an executioner for the entity. He is above being racist or wasting his time by spreading hate towards minorities. The only thing he will be spreading is his cheek. Now, I wanted to rank Blight and Doctor at the same time because both of them share some similarities that I think describe them perfectly. Both characters are very smart scientists slash doctors 
who only wanted to do their research in order to pursue knowledge. They do not have any time to be racist and they do not have any prejudice against anyone else. Well, maybe the doctor. But does hating all humanity make you racist? Also, the doctor is Afro-American, so he might have suffered from discrimination, but there is no piece of lore that confirms this as far as I am aware. Nemesis was created by the Umbrella Corporation with only one purpose, and that purpose was definitely not being racist. Yeah, he can whip survivors, and he persecutes and harasses a small group of people, but that doesn't make him automatically racist. In fact, I also would like to rate him as anti-racist because he ended racism in Resident Evil 3, since all humans, no matter their skin color, they join forces in order to survive the apocalypse, and once you turn into a zombie, nobody cares about your skin color anymore. Dredge is a manifestation of fear. I don't think it could manifest into fear of discrimination or racist, and even if it could, that wouldn't make the dredge racist as it's an eldritch abomination that has no concept of what racism even is to begin with. No matter what race you belong to, the dredge will go after you as long as you manifest it. I do have to rate him higher in the list because ignorance does not excuse racism and out of all the characters in the game, the dredge is the most likely to have a confederate flag. And alright! Let's start with the characters that might be racist, but I cannot confirm it fully. Some of you are probably surprised that your main has not appeared yet, so this is the last milestone before we reach the big leagues. If there's something that Counter-Strike has teach me along the years is that Russian people are extremely racist. However, since that experience is fully anecdotal, and it's also hypocrite for me to generalize an entire country only by a small minority that plays a game, I think it's best we go by her lore. The Huntress lived in Russia during the times between the First and Second World War, so it is possible that she never saw anyone that was not her same race. What would her reaction be towards a person of a different color is something that I don't know exactly. But whatever the case, that person would end up being hunted. It saddens me to put the trapper in this part, as he was originally going to be fully into the anti-racist category. One thing for sure, his dad, Archie McMillan, is fully racist as he calls all of his workers as maggots, so it's not far-fetched for him to have bad prejudice against people of different races. The thing is that originally, when Trapper had 14 years, he was completely against his father as he cared for his people, to the point that if he didn't have fear against his father, he could end up fighting for human rights. The problem is that his father ended up influencing him, so this makes the Trapper to be potentially racist. Out of all the characters in the game, the Trapper is the only one that could have been way better. Now, there is absolutely no official or canon confirmation that Ghostface is racist. However, he does not give me good vibes at all. Not only has there never been a black Ghostface in the movies, but using a white face as your symbol kinda reeks of some political beliefs behind that choice. It's also confirmed that Ghostface only kills those he sees as worthy. And guess what? If you have a criminal record, any potential affiliation with criminals, or if you are, as it's said in his official tome, too loud in the community, then Ghostface has no interest in you. Now, Mr. Ghostface, what do you mean exactly with too loud in the community? What do you mean by that? If you tell me that doesn't smell like prejudice, I don't know what else to say. Trickster is, again, another character that has no official or canon confirmation that they are racist per the definition of the word, yet at the same time, Trickster just doesn't give me any good vibes at all. He definitely is a person that has disgust over the rest of people, and there is no guarantee that he has even worse disgust between people of different races. In fact, whenever you drop a survivor as him, you can clearly see that he does so showing absolute disgust towards the fact that he was touching another survivor physically. Don't tell me that hand gesture doesn't look like absolute disgust. Now, imagine that gesture while dropping a Claudette. 
that doesn't look good for Trickster in my opinion. Let's not forget about his over bloated ego and narcissistic personality, which doesn't help his case at all. Oh boy, we have a big one here. By now, you probably already know that there is no official confirmation that Clown is racist, but come on man, he's one of the most messed up characters in the entire game that uses chemicals against people in order to capture them while they are asleep and god knows what he does to them while they are defenseless. And considering one specific add-on of this guy, it doesn't sound good, trust me. Let's not forget the fact that he was alive during the 40s, which doesn't help Clown at all, as segregation was still a thing. However, one fact that I noticed is that not a single of his fingers, either in the lore nor the ones that he has in his keychain, belong to a person of color. But to play the devil's advocate, it is true that with the clown you can technically steal a black survivor's finger, but I don't know whether to count that as canon, as there are a lot of things that you can do in-game that I doubt the characters do in lore, like teabagging. Either way, ranking the clown any lower in this tier list just doesn't feel right. Alright, this one is going to be the most polarizing opinion in the entire video. So here's the thing, right? The Legion is a group of four best friend teenagers composed of Frank, Julie, Susie, and Joey. Joey is black, so by that logic, they cannot be racist, right? However, most of you already know that this logic is flawed and having a black friend is not an excuse to justify acting racist. Now, take a look at Frank and have the audacity to tell me that he doesn't drop a couple of hard R's in some gamer heated moments. But I think the worst offender is Julie. I don't know about you, but Julie looks like the white woman who has no problem with saying the N word whenever she wants and if any person complains, she always excuses herself by saying that she has a black friend that gave her the N word pass. And maybe Susie is actually the worst case by far, but even if she was not racist, she is still best friends with potentially racist people. They are teenagers, they are criminals, I doubt they care about political correctness. And that's it, we have finished with this tier. However, before we go to the top dogs, I would like to make an honorable mention for the Cenobite. I actually haven't watched the movies, I haven't read the novel. I know almost nothing close to them, so I have no idea what he or his Cenobite group would be. And since I am not comfortable enough to give an opinion on something I have no idea about, I decided to skip him and leave that up as a free space. You decide. Now let's talk about the worst of the worst. The characters that are fully racist. And I think there is nobody better to start with than Freddy Krueger. Now, if being a P-word wasn't enough for Freddy Krueger, he decided to step up his game by adding another thing to his arsenal. In the Freddy vs Jason movies, Freddy Krueger decided to make an uncomfortable comment towards a person of color by saying... How sweet. Dark oh my God. Oh, Come on man, was that really necessary dude? And before you claim that this Freddy is Robert Englund and we have to have the remake Freddy in the game, let me remind you that you're watching a video about ranking fictional characters in a video game by how racist they are. Do you think I am going to take this video seriously? Hey, probably nobody expected this placement on the video. But before you start defending your Babylonian goddess, please consider the facts. Number one, she lived way back in the past during a time period where having slaves was something absolutely normal. And number two, she is very religious. Combine those two facts and police have the guts to tell me that the plague is not racist at all. Do you think someone who had slaves built her temple, someone who hates infidels would fight against discrimination? If her god revealed that her race is the superior one, she would not think twice about it. There are a lot of factors and context that just points to her being racist. Alright, I know what you're going to say. She is not racist, she is only ableist. As if that makes her any better. 
But if the white hoodie she wears is not enough to convince you, then let me ask you this. Do you really think a white woman back in the 40s during the segregation times who worked in an asylum and was easily influenced to become ableist and agreed that some people are not worthy of life is not racist? Really? Well, 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 we finally got to talk about Kazan Yamaoka, aka the Oni, aka the Japanese cleanser. Remember all of the characters in this entire video? Well, none of them participated in any violence against minorities or other people. Oni's entire backstory and motivation is literally to cleanse the land of Japan out of fake people that are not worthy to be called samurai. If Japanese people today are already racist, imagine just how bad the Oni was back in the days. You're telling me that if he found a black samurai in his path, he wouldn't absolutely turn them to mush. The thing is that he was racist towards his own people as well. The only ones worthy are his family and a small minority of samurais. If you don't fit any of the two criteria, then you are automatically inferior to the Oni and he will make sure that you no longer stain the beautiful lands of Japan. Well, that is it for this tier. However, you might have noticed something weird. Someone is missing from this list. And trust me, I am aware. I said that it's over for this tier, but I didn't say this video is over. The truth is that there is a tier above the racist tier. A tier I had to hide because the word alone is enough to trigger a YouTube bot. We are talking about the domestic terrorist tier. And who could be worthy of this title? Say hello to Albert Wesker. This dude is the literal definition of the word. A white, blonde man that wants to eliminate the unworthy of this world and become the god of the new era. If that description is not enough for you, I'll let Albert do the talking. A tear that this planet is overpopulated only a handful of humans truly matter. Everyone else is just so much chaff. So now, I have to separate this chaff from the wheat. And with Uroboros, I can finally accomplish this. Only those with superior DNA. Let me clarify something for you, Chris. I don't think of myself as a king. No, I am a god, and even kings bow to gods. Leaves the survivors stronger and better. Humans have escaped this winnowing for far too long. Well, that is all for this vid. Do you have anything in common with your main? Please let me know in the comments if you want another tier list for me to make. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.